Hello, welcome back to Calendra Cistern. We have just climbed out of this well and we are trying to make our way to Mercedes' house now that we have the Cyrix Drottle or Cyrix or whatever it's called. The weird cup thing that was our objective. Uh, we're also looking for the rest of the body parts of Brother Adrius, which I hope are in this part of town because I did not find them in the other part of town where we came from. We have several body parts already, and I don't want to know where we're keeping them. That's the Silex of Jorthal. It looks like a weird, very ornamented cup with spikes. Anyway, we've just come out in a new part of town which I've not been to before. Let's check the map. We are here, and I guess we need to go north. Yeah, let's follow the place north. There's a bunch of places on the way. Old Witch House. The Trickster's Hoof Pub, the High Watch Gate, the Whitman Mansion, and we'll see what we find on the way. Is there anything up there? It doesn't really look like it. There's a ledge, but uh, it doesn't look like a window that can be broken. Gate okay, doesn't open. Can I reach? Can I mount this wall? Can I get up? It's high. Can I reach it from here? Can I climb on the sign and then reach the wall from the sign? Be careful. Nope, I just fall off the sign, alright. Can I climb on the sign and then climb on the well? And from the well, uh, I'm not going to be able to jump that because of sliding. I jump that way. Yeah, and it's hearing me there. Okay, let's down this way, just a, another gate. Well, I guess I... Can I push the barrel all the way? It's going to take forever. Oh, come on. I keep getting stuck. I mean, yes, it'll be a solution, but it's not exactly an exciting solution. Uh, how else could I reach that wall? It's weird to give me a wall that I immediately can't get on top of. That open. I'm going to try and rip out right here. Maybe this is how I did it last time, I can't remember. Last last time I played this mission, I did get a little tiny bit further than this, but not much. Right, where are we the wall? Uh, there's our front beast friend. I wouldn't. Much rather he he's not alive. So let's have him explode. Let's drop to the wall. We have a barrel on the side I can drop onto. Okay. Well, I still can't open that, but I guess I can. <clears throat> if I need to get back up and I, over, I can climb on this barrel and get over that way. Uh, so this is the old witch house, which is locked. Frogs. There is a body. Corpse, quite dead, okay. And I don't like these frog beasts. So I'm just going to dispose of all of them. Oh, no, there's another. more. There is another one indeed. It's not looking this way. Is that it? All the frogs gone. What's this? Book. I love watching Lisa Calendra ride casually around the district. She's such a risque horror and she picks her victims with the most incredible nonchalance. The Lalock Society can't hope to remain a secret much longer. This is my seventh month spying on them for the sisterhood and it is nearly time to unleash the coven's magic against our rivals. Heh. <laughs> The only good thing the Lilockies ever did was kill some Hammerite. Poor sap, saw the Lilockies dumping body parts around the city like they were trying to get rid of him any way they could. This must be Brother Adrius's. 
called at Lord Whitman's mansion today as a servant woman seeking work. Got a good glimpse of the foyer and even saw Bradley Whitman getting dressed up for the secret party of the Weeping Angel. Those fops are lucky their house overlooks such a wide open pit. I don't think they've ever been robbed and I certainly can't see a way inside. Doesn't matter though. After tonight's spell I should be able to walk in the front door. I might pawn, I might pawn the vase on the mantel for lockpicks just in case. Hmm, the play of frog spell apparently needs more work. I'll have to try it again at the Lalock's Autumn Rites. Oh well. I went out of town for several months. The weather's getting chilly now. The coven has it from some tavern wenches, who are also coven sisters, that there's a recent bustle at the Thieves' Guild. Seems some relic came into town hidden in the body of a boy. The, hit sisters, the sisterhood suspects thieves will hit the Lalock Society, who are the most likely recipients of such a relic. Time to hone up my frog plague spell. Can't make any mistakes this time. Ah, that old recluse Brimstone is coming to the party. I saw him help drag a young girl into the Weeping Angel just as Twilight settled over the chimneys. Looks like she almost got away. I'll wager Brimstone is plotting with those thieves. He'd bugger a cat for the chance to backstab his own mother. I also see the Whitman boys and their father going in through the cemetery gate. Old Pagan Cathedral will see some dark uses tonight for sure. Right, this is for my own records. The Larlock party is in full swing by now. Wish they'd fixed that damn clock. Ruins my concentration. Anyway, starting the frog spell now. Soon the relic and all the Lark Society's power will belong to the coven. Well, unless your frog spell goes horribly, horribly wrong and gets yourself killed, which is exactly what seems to have happened. Are you hidden in your fireplace? Nope. But you have a vase on the mantle, which you are not going to pawn for lockpicks. Oh well, the old witch's house is now the dead witch's house. Onwards. There's a cemetery where we've been before. Oh, it's you. Hello? You gonna say anything? No. It's Trickster's Hoof Tavern. What are you looking for? Talk to me, Mercedes. Don't just walk away. No? Hello? Say something? <coughs> Ow! Did you hear something? I got shot! Someone with a bow! Well... Come into the open and try that again! Who's there? Oops, so I died. Uh, let's try that again. I wish I had a sword. It's much easier to tackle with these people with a sword. I mean, I know my objective is so don't kill anybody except Tommy Rot. I guess this is Tommy Rot and his friends. Out of the way. No, oh, that's not fire. That's fire. Dead. Friend, not dead. Right, let's try that again. I know they're there, I'm just gonna race ahead of you. Mercedes, slow down, let me past. Which part of let me past don't you understand? Thank you. Uh, oh. No one must arrow to his face isn't gonna do anything. Why arrow to his face, Mike? Come on. Let the city watch mop him up. I just saved your life. Is that all you have to say to me? Ouch. Also, I'm almost dead. Ah. Oh, I actually have got gas arrows, don't I? Yeah, I should have used gas arrows. Save me some uh, near-death experiences. Oh well, uh, healing potion. I've got two. Two healing potions will do me nicely. 
Does he have any loot? Oh, Tommy, right. Now he's dead. I'm lootless. <laughs> now. Wow. Is this your place? Alright, I will come back. Well, actually, do you have any loot? Well, we have the silix. A little candlelight. A little fruit and wine. Best of all. Oh, that's not wine I can take. I can take the fruit. And the apple. I want to steal any loot you have. Do you have any loot? Alright. I'm coming back later. I have more objectives to do. There's body parts to find and such. But you're safe at home now, Mercedes, so I can spend my time looking instead of worrying about defending you. Any body parts hiding in this part of town. I'm going to be quite upset if the answer turns out to be no. Uh, this isn't my game, is it? No, this is a... Uh, Another locked gate. Can you get on the roof there, maybe? Maybe not. No. Mm. Well, that's the trick to the swift pub, but uh, oh, I see an open window. I'm gonna try to get up there. That's the best way, just uh, rip her onto the roof. I was going to say I can use it on those uh, reprobates, but uh, it's a bit late for that. Okay, I'm not sure there's anything up here. I guess maybe I could climb over the roof, but uh, I don't need to. But I do want to go slash those banners. I want to find the key to that place, and obviously I'm still hunting for body parts. Where's my summoner stone again? I need to find more body parts. I'm not done yet. Uh, objectives wise, Mercedes is alive and well, but I guess that gets ticked off at the end of the mission. I still have to find the body parts, I have to sign the guest book, which I kept forgetting about back at the party. Uh, then go to Mercedes' new apartment. Alright, so we're almost done. It's just the <laughs> treasure hunt for uh, gory treasure. Can I get up there? Mm. It looks like it should be possible to get up there, but it's not clear whether there is anything up there. Let's try. Put that away. Or not. Up the roof here. Wow, it's pretty quiet, which suggests... Usually means it's uh, not a place you're supposed to go, but... Um, Seems too narrow for me as well. Alright. Oh, and it just comes over here anyway. Yeah, good work. Good work, Garrett. Very smart. Very smart of you. So that's the graveyard where we have been before. Can't get in and out this way. And we're back here. Maybe there are no body parts in this part of town, is there? The witch was mentioning the body parts. Did she have one in her house? No, she did not. Uh, so, then... We'll get back to this... Bloody... War chase. <laughs> Quite a wild goose chase. Is that a window? No, it's just a hole. Uh... Well, maybe none of the body parts are in this part of town after all. Maybe they are all around the other side of town. Botheration. I haven't been to the Hammer Temple, but I'm not sure if it's accessible. 
Oh wait. No, maybe happy in front of it. I have these little explosive shop. Number 11 here. I did go down here. That's where Lady Glendris is. Maybe I went in front of the old temple? I don't know. In any case, there's no way east from here. Uh, except locked gates, so we have to go back down the well. Yeah, nothing, no way through there. Well, then back down the well it's got to be. Let's put that away. Which side is the ladder? Oh, there's not, it's just water. Uh, assuming I can get back out again. Oh, that's right, I swam in. So I should be able to swim back out. I feel like I should do a uh, Freeman's Mind kind of thing and just have Garrett narrate as if his mouth is full of water at this point, but uh, I don't have the acting skills to pull it off. Right, back through the sewers. Last nice little gate that mysteriously unlocked itself. So, body parts, huh? Did I look down there for body parts? I think I did. Did I look around Calendra's house for body parts? I did not. Let's go back to Calendra's house. Or to that part of town. And see if we can find any there. Where's my last rope? Hopefully, I don't need it anymore. Well, I suppose I could go buy one, but... Come on, on the rope. I can probably grab it from this ledge. If I can grab the ledge... Yeah, okay, it's not really... Uh, in top form today. Yeah, alright, I can take it with me. Summon a stone, I summon the... Summon me some more disembodied arms and legs. I think I need one leg and one arm, right? So let's just check what I need. There's his head. And there's one leg, there's his torso, and I need, so I do need his other leg. It's one arm and torso, so I need his other arm. Yeah, one arm, one leg. Plus an arm and a leg to do it uh, this way. Ladder. Unless there's one in here, always worth checking. Well, if it is, it doesn't appear to be in the water. <laughs> I never did look up here either, but there's probably nothing this way. Says. There's no ledge. Which I'm not really properly standing on. That appears to be nothing else apart from the ledge, okay. And nothing on that wall that I care about. Let's just go back out to the streets. <laughs> No more secret moss arrows. To the streets, to the streets, up the ladder. Come on, don't jump into the ladder, jump onto the ladder. Important difference in the in their propositions there, Garrett. Okay, so this is the back way that leads up to where the Weeping Angel is. We can't get any make any progress there. Don't, there's a ledge up there, but I don't see any possible way of getting up there. Um, there's a ledge up here which I got up to before, but uh, I wonder if there's anything in the explosive shop. Probably worth a check. Probably worth checking. Who knows where they put these things? There's designers might have put them anywhere. 
guess I've just got to be you know, exhaustive about it. Let's jump across there. Nope. No body parts. I mean, presumably the late owner's body parts are sort of, or well, remnants of them are there, but no body parts that I eat. Parts around Lady Flanders house. I wonder if there's any in the crypt down below her house. That seems possible. I wish she had a way to switch off her bloody burglar alarm as well. Uh, which way was the crypt? Well, let's check the attic. Once again, just being exhaustive. And I guess we'll check the other room. Oh, and I can slash the banners while I'm here. Good, I'll do that. Well, I mean, this this painting wasn't bad at all, though. Let's let's slash the banners. Nothing. Nothing. Turn off you bloody noisy thing. All right, did she have any other banners in her office? Maybe. No, just another switch that doesn't do anything. Sort of way. No body parts. I'm gonna try and use the stone door. Let's just quickly check a bedroom for body parts. It seems unlikely, but she does have very odd tastes, so you know. Nothing. To the crypt. Oh, there's another banner. Nothing. Alright, so down here we have a zombie wandering around, and we have that skull bouncing around. Oh, it's pretty dark, so we should be pretty safe. Just need to see if I can summon anything while well, I'm down here. Zombie's hiding in the corner. I mean, this would be an obvious place to dump some body parts, right? It's a crypt. Or would that be a bit too cryptic? I wonder if any of these have secret secrets on them or not. Who knows? It's a bit too dark to see and I'm not sure it's worth my time looking. Uh, so I went. Summon a stone. Let's summon ourselves elsewhere. Alright, that's right, this takes us all the way back to the sewers under the graveyard via the uh, the long way around. More ladders of doom. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the start of the map and explore the entire starting bit of town again. Bother. But at least I know there's no uh, enemies to worry about, so I can just you know, hightail it. Anything in here? I mean, there's water, but. Uh, Close, I uh, bounced off the edge, I didn't quite impact it. Thankfully. No body parts here, alright. I mean, she has all these bloody cisterns full of water. I guess if it's drinking water, you wouldn't want to drop body parts in there, even, even magical ones. There's a spider room. Ouch, but the spider's dead, so that's alright. Oh. Hello again, what are you doing here? Sadies? Are you in two places at once? Is your scripting broken as well? Hello? Hello? I'm here. Is that not twang? Oh! <laughs> Oops! Oops! <coughs> that was not what I meant to do, I didn't mean to actually uh, hit her. Uh, Oh, that was my last save. Oh, okay, it's just here. So, right, I should just carefully drop off here again, into the water. Okay. Right. Not far to go. Next time, I will try to avoid, actually... I was just trying to hit the bars with my sword and make a nice clanging sound to get her attention, but, uh... So much for that, I guess. Okay, get down. Right, 
my summoning stone. Have the inventory. Right. So, Calandra, can you hear me? Can you see me? Hello? Ah, uh, Mercedes, rather, not Calandra. Well, I think she's bugged. I will leave her there. Um, I can heal since I'm here. Not that I have much healing to do. So, where are these body parts? There aren't any in the graveyard, right? I checked. I thought. I guess I'm going to come out there, so I'll find out. in the graveyard. No. This is most annoying. Alright, I guess we go back round to the start of the level again and keep hunting in the town. You remember when the Baron's police took down the wall? And this is one in the attic. The attic has had nothing else in it. Okay, I can look. Nope. Not in the attic. I mean, there might be one in the observatory. But we have to go to the observatory with all the rest of them. And <laughs> her note did clearly say she was not leaving them in the observatory like last time. Because uh, the other guy's body parts. Well, he started putting himself back together. Which was not what she had in mind. Oh, Lady Calendra has moved again. Oh no, she's still there. Uh, yeah, I found one down there already behind the fire. So that's the fire one done. We've done. We've had fire. We've had wind. We've had water. I don't know. I wish when they give hints that they would be written down on a piece of paper or. Visible in the objectives, or something of that nature, so that uh, makes it possible at least to rediscover them. There's no one there. Nobody there at all. I wonder if there's one in this little spot behind these people. It's very bright though. Don't know how I get there without being spotted. It's very bright. <clears throat> no, there's nothing here. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. No, you saw nothing. Hmm. Guess it was nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> this looks like the guest book. <clears throat> Should I sign it now or wait? Well, it's indeed the guest book. Uh, I might just come back to that later. That's the last objective we have to do, so as long as I leave that undone, I'm not going to find the mission ending unexpectedly. Which uh, I would prefer not to happen, but to make sure it ends when I'm ready for it. Okay, where are the rest of these body parts hiding? Damn it. I don't want to have to look for... Uh... Oh wait, I missed the other supposes. I don't want to have to look for... Uh... Secrets. Hello, Mr. Flo. I am hunting body parts with a mysterious summon summoner's stone. And I don't know where they're found, so it's very much a wander through the town until I see them kind of deal. Ledge up there with nothing else on it, right? Let's see if there's body parts here. It's a barrel, that's empty. No body parts. Uh, 
Uh, oh, have I been in that door? I don't remember being in this door. Oh yes, I have been through this door. That's nothing hiding in the chimney. Uh, this is the aqueduct. We found one body part in the aqueduct already. So there won't be another one there. Yeah, it's very inconvenient when people get chopped up in the uh, kind of arcane rituals and you have to try and the body parts spread all over town and you have to find them all again to bring them back to life. It's uh, And they only give you vague clues that they say once and never repeat about where the body parts are to be found. At least, I don't think he repeats them. Maybe if I drop his head again he'll be able to tell me what he said before. Brother Adrius, where are, that, where are that body parts? Tell me. Don't don't run into the wall, sir. Crawling death. Ouch! My nose is. Just... Where are your arms and legs? Can you tell me again? No. Crawling death. Crawling death, indeed. But uh, you had a clue before. Can't you repeat it? Alright, whatever. I guess I'm running around with this glowy orb until I find it or I give up and check a walkthrough. And to be honest, I'm kind of suspecting it might be that give up and check a walkthrough is going to be the outcome of this business, but I'm not giving up just yet. I've been all, I've been here already. Now I've been to all these places and uh, tried to examine them, tried to find more body parts. So unless I'm, you know, blind as a bat, and it has been known to happen, then you know I am just kind of wasting a little time here. Hmm. There's one in this canal, is there? No, I think I already checked the canal as well. And the only one that... He did say something about one being near fire, and one near water, and one near wind, and that was just kind of all I remembered him saying. And I found ones that match all those descriptions anyway, and the water one was in the aqueduct, so it's not going to be there. And the wind one was up on the ledge, just up by that window. So there's not going to be another one there, surely. Maybe one's on top of one of these beams or something inconvenient. Um, doesn't look like there's anything up there, but let's just... Why not? Let's be thorough. And take a look up here and see if we can see anything resembling magical, magically disembodied body parts. Nope. As expected. Alright, let's go back up. So yeah, this is this is kind of the downside of uh, fan missions. Is sometimes they're not very carefully playtested, and uh, you know, I don't know actually how much playtesting it's got, but really, it's not the first fan mission I've played where. The objective kind of seemed to be, oh, just look everywhere until you find the thing, you know, designed for the players who are already obsessively searching everywhere, which is fine if you've got plenty of time, but it's not really ideal. Uh, I wonder if there's one on top of that chimney, there's a chimney somewhere. Get on this roof, or cam. Is there any point to getting on this roof? I think not. Uh, there is a chimney somewhere that has a ladder in it that's climbable, and I wonder if it might be another one on top of that chimney. I should check that. I think it was just back here. I'm 
kind of lost there. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> kind of atmosphere. Don't quite remember how to get to it, but I think I will see it soon and remember. No, it wasn't here, was it? I thought it was here. There's the tower. I'm pretty sure I already checked the tower. I check this one. Now here's the chimney. I will climb up the chimney. Why not? Uh, it's always possible. Can anybody leave body parts up here? No. Not surprising, really, since there's really nowhere to put them. Alright, uh, let's, let's save. And try to get back down without uh, injury. So far, so good. Alright, so, so much for that room. <laughs> I did check the tower, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I checked the tower, but I'm here. It won't take me long to check it again. Body parts. I mean, I just need one arm and one leg. I can't use that on ladder. I was going to just hit the bell and make it ring, but you know. Can't. And I've been over that wall and down to that part of town. It's a little dead end, and there was already a body part there, so there's not going to be a second one there. Uh. I wonder if there might be one in smoke. I wonder if that's one of the things he said. Because there's a couple of places where there were chimneys billowing smoke, and when I stood on them, Garrett started coughing, indicating it was not mere particle effects, but they actually had a bit of a script attached to it. And that might be a clue. One of those is back at the inn, which I'm going to have to go back to anyway, so I'll check it out there if I don't find it first. Let's go back to the shop and the art dealer's house. I don't know if I've explored here thoroughly for body parts, have I? Yeah, I did, I did go up there, didn't I? With the stone? I think I did. I don't see or hear anything. When, uh, when you're near one of his body parts, can hear his voice talking, but it's really faint unless you're right on top of it anyway, so it's not much of a clue. Uh, I'll just check this guy's house. Oh, that's right, I've also got a sword now. I wanted to come back here anyway to like slash his banners and look for the keys to his... Uh, he's got a couple of chests I couldn't open before, so I guess it's not a total waste of time being here. Even if there are no body parts. Oh, that's right. I wondered if I could get back here from the city department. I will have to check. I'll go back there eventually because it's the uh, final objective. <laughs> Any body parts in your backyard, sir? No, no, I didn't think so. Uh, right. Upstairs was where the banners were. One of them, anyway. Aha! What is that? It's a key! Does it open this chest? It does. For more loot. I don't really need loot, but I'm happy to have found the hidden key. It's a safe I've already unlocked. Well, again, just being thorough, why would you hide body parts in someone else's house? I don't know, but let's just pull out that summoner stone. Yeah, nothing. As expected. Back down. And... Any body parts in your bath? No. That's more pleasant for you than the opposite. 
All right, let's check this other secret room. Now that we have the key somewhere. Key, that one. And it's more gems. All right, again, once again, nothing I really need, but uh, it was kind of at the back of my head and bothering me, so I'm glad it's sorted out. So no body parts, apparently, at the art dealer's house. I do see a ledge there. Those are all stone eaves. Uh, so I can't see a way to get up there, so I don't, can't get up to that tower, even if it was accessible. No, it's not accessible. Uh, any body parts for sale in the shop? That would be a surprising twist, but worth checking. One never knows. Dibbler! Any body parts? Yes? No? No. I didn't think so. Well, I don't need any of your stuff then. Dear, oh dear, I do think I'm going to have to check a walk through at this point because I am pretty thoroughly stumped. Alright, here we are back at the Weeping Angel Tavern. We actually do have all of Brother Adrius' body parts, as I found by checking the forum. So, I have everything I need, I believe, to put it back together. You're in an awkward position, aren't you? Out of my way. I didn't really want to try to sneak past everyone, but if you'll stand in really awkward places, I just have to do what I can do. I don't see anything now. There's no one there at all. So, back to the observatory, which is... I think I get there from upstairs, right? Yeah, she's not very observant, so she never sees me. Also, her scripting is a bit broken, which might be why she never sees me properly. Back to the attic. Through the passage. And I can't recall if I left the rope or not into the center. Scout quickly. If I did leave a rope, then uh, all well and good. If I didn't, no, it looks like I didn't. Alright. Use my final rope arrow. And. It's like they really put this uh, observatory there in a spot that's easy to access, especially considering they have rituals they do here. It's uh, a little silly that it's uh, only accessible by rope arrow. But no problem really. We're here now. We've already eradicated the spiders, cleared things out. Let's turn the lights on so we have a better view of uh, this ritual. Now, I think we just have to drop his body parts in there. And watch the magic happen. Let's do his random body parts first and then finally his head and see what happens. Well, that's mystical. We vanished. Goes splat and then vanishes. And now for his head. It's gonna be like half a leg and half an arm missing apparently. <laughs> Watch. Open the moon, Fiatnax. Bring forth thy. Oh, bother. Just press that switch over there. The switch? Oh, wow. You look, uh. What was this? Note. You have helped me, thief, and for that I thank you. The thing you seek is well guarded. If the beast is awake, naught shall make it sleep. Fear not, it cannot rend what it sees not. It cannot shred what it catches not. In the end, it is just a beast. Now finally, I go to make amends. Use what time I have left wisely. I 
an invisibility potion. Well, that would have helped me with my main objective, except I've already done it. So, however, I have found his body parts and helped him out. So now I just need to go back where I came. Uh, do I need a rope here? I hear a hammer haunt, or is that Brother Adrius? Uh, I also feel like I'm about to fall off here. I was definitely falling off. Operation! Garrett, the master uh, thief, but master acrobat, he is not. This bloody roof that's too low, so I keep hitting that when I jump. And bouncing off in an unexpected direction. I'm sure I can make the jump, I've made it before, let's try this side. Alright. There's my rope, I can go down the rope. Oh, there's Brother Adrius. Uh, rather ineffectually getting his revenge on these people. Oh, that's good. A bit more effectual. Behind you! He's a bit he's a bit short sighted, isn't he, in the dark? Don't think you can hide for long. Hmm. Oh, I wish I had some flares, because uh No, he's seen someone else. Trouble fighting them. Come on now, come on. Oh, they're down. Well, I can't really get down with these people here. I'm gonna go back to my uh, alternate route. Hmm. Which I think is this way. Don't Where think you can hide I can observe the fun in safety. I think he's killed Lady Calendra. Yes, he has. There's another one down. As soon as I find you, you're dead. Try fighting a ghost, will you? I'm pretty sure he's friendly to me. No, he's not coming this way. So. I have not been in this room before because it was had people in it. What loot did I miss that I can now access since it has been had its people eradicated? Hello, sir. Oh, I didn't finish unlocking. What was that noise? Well, 
there's a problem. I put all the lights out and they can't see him now. Maybe it's time to relight a torch or two. Uh, that one there? No, I have no fire arrows. Oops. Oh well, let's just go collect loot and uh, see what happens. What have we got? Yeah. Decree of guilt. It is with great sorrow that I, Lady Calendra, am forced to pen this formal writ, and with greater sorrow that I must read it to all present. The Larlock Society's initiatory oath is a dreadful thing to break, and out of necessity there is only one consequence for such lack of probity. It is therefore with the gravest sorrow that I must present a name tonight. Count Drakenkarl, despite having recently procured the Silex of Jotul for our order, has been found possessed of society dues missing since last winter's sacrifice. Such trespass against the order and to our confidence must surely cause each one of us to reel. A long-time friend and high-ranking member of our society, turning on his own family, as it were, is beyond reprehension. And I am afraid I must collect your tears with your dues this terrible night. The Count and his knight retreated to the cemetery not an hour ago, no doubt suspecting their guilt has been discovered. I have taken matters in hand and they will not be returning to the party. Once Dylan, my new servant, has brought them inside, we will have a short memorial in the catacombs below my home. <coughs> Excuse me. The ashes will, of course, be interred in urns there with the others, indefinitely. We will now accept the quarterly dues of 100 gold per member. In secrecy at Shadow, we are an unfathomable force divided we fall. And also under the blade of Brother Adrius we fall. Now let's grab this loot. Now, I could lead people to this fellow. Right, did I miss any pockets here? There's a lot of bodies here that weren't there before. Any pockets for loot? Right. Can't really see you. Apparently not. Alright. Uh, and Lady Calendra. I already picked her pocket. She just had a key. He has a pocket. Is there anything else here in the chapel I missed? Book. May black gods breed in the belly of the frog, and the blood of the newborn muddy the bog. Let the song of the swampland, borne by wind, still the strong wrist till it lies lithe and pale, and silence the lips of the builder. Let festering cankers, round yellow with pus, be the wine we drink from the horn, from the cusp, and the blood on our teeth, upon our tongues. Taste sweet, though not our own. May forge blood groan, cold long silence, the song of the hammer. We feast at decay's banquet, ensconced by night, with newts whose dark madness has driven them white. May the hidden eye weep, tears that melt stone, crumble arch, rock timber, make girders groan, and leave sediment and rust in the builder's proud throat. The rotting thin, stringsy, foolsy flesh of man is the bread of this earth, the food of the land. Ours is the claw, the hoof and horn of the trickster. Amen. Well, that's the text of their pagan ritual as they perform human sacrifices. But uh, to be honest, they seem less than uh, truly committed pagans. Um, small loot. Because. Oh, they're fighting him over there. Okay. Less than true, fully committed pagans. As I was saying. Uh, simply because they're uh, very much doing this for their own personal benefit and not really for the sake of the trickster. They're seeing him better than he can see them. This is. I hope they don't kill him. Uh, they're still, find you. certainly kind of blocking my way. I'm just going to throw a gas arrow in the middle of them there. Right. There's a few of them out of the way. They're not dead, but whatever. They, they maybe learned their lesson. In the well, nope. Alright, well, there's just one person left wandering around. Hello, sir. Did you see me here? Sir. Come into the light. Or oh, I will stand in the light. Is someone there? Yes. Hello. <sighs> yeah, that's right. 
Where is my sorry friend? Ah. Oh, he's going after me still. Whoops, that was a mistake. Aha! Aha! Take that! Oh, there's a mage down here as well. I forgot about him. Hopefully he will die as well. He's only taking damage. Yeah, I couldn't knock him out. He was, uh, I don't know whether he was bugged or something, but... Uh, he certainly dies. Okay, good work. Now, did either of them have pockets that I hadn't picked? Not him. Good work, brother Adrius. May your unholy laughter long keep people from this unholy place or something. Now, if you don't mind, I'll just quieten you down there. I believe I'm done. Oh no, I have to sign the guest book. Last thing to do. Um, everyone else is either unconscious or dead. No, he's come out. Let's sign the guest book. Garrett, Master Thief. Alright. Uh, we have to go find Mercedes, who's not that way. She is in the other part of town. Which is accessed through the sewers. I keep forgetting. And so we're almost done with this mission. We just have to meet Mercedes now at her house. We have succeeded. We have completed everything else that we needed to do. And the house was this way. And rope again. Matters. Up over here. Oh, I do have a repair, that's fine. I might need one. I did last time I came this way. Long swim through the tunnels. And up a few ladders. Out onto the streets. Eventually. <gasps> We're up on the streets now. Getting onto that wall is a nuisance, so this is the easiest way to get over there, even though it seems a little weird. There's an odd mantle, and uh, you can't see the edge of the world from here, but it doesn't matter. It works. Now the only other thing in my head just now, oops, ouch, um, is that I did see a gate just up here uh, with a lever which led right back to the start. And I do wonder if there, if I can actually open that from this side. It's more curiosity than anything else. It would be up here, right? What did you say? You really shouldn't talk to me across to the other side of the street. You took the party like a feather. No one noticed me. But I'd still be careful. Hmm, no. Just a little information on how the party's brewing. Lady Calandra apparently has her townhouse well guarded tonight. I think there's some treachery afoot. Anyway, if you can find her. You know she's dead, right? Are you just... your scripting all broken again? I think your scripting's all broken again. Well, let's hope the mission ends correctly. Yeah, okay, this is the gate, this is the gate I found before. It leads right back to... Uh, the back of the art dealer's house, near the starting area, okay. Like, you're still talking to yourself. I'll be watching for your return. Good luck. I've returned already. Your scripting is all broken. What's wrong with you? Never mind, I'm gonna go to your house and hope we have the mission finished there.
It's pretty dark in there. Is that the same bed? <laughs> She's not here to answer. Her scripting is quite broken. Uh. It's lonely being a thief. I guess tonight I'm the thief of hearts, which I suppose was my plan from the start. I don't like the design of the Silix anyway. It wouldn't match my decor. Besides, the way it sounds, we may have to deliver it somewhere tomorrow night. For now, I'll just let the city rot and enjoy the company I have. Alright, well, I guess despite the broken scripting there on Mercedes, I did manage to mission to complete. Total time, 3 hours 27 minutes. More problems. We found 2,976 loot out of minus 978. Uh, 978 is probably how much I spent in the store. I missed two, picking two pockets. I know one of them is a key I picked up someone after I knocked him out when it doesn't count. And this being the gold, there is no list of secrets, so I don't know if I missed any secrets. And because of their weird scripting, I don't you know how much loot I didn't actually find. Probably not a ton. Got quite a lot. Quite a lot more than the target. I expect quite a lot. So, thanks very much for watching. That was Calendra Assistant. I, there is a follow-up uh, set of missions to this. Uh, that I think it's the two set, uh, Calendra's Legacy, which I've already downloaded, but I might try some other fan missions before that. But uh, keep an eye out on my stream or on YouTube, and there'll be more Thief very, very soon. Thanks for watching.